this is Batman. You're watching Kyle Reviewed. Hey guys, just finished watching uh, Penny's Worth, Season 1, Episode 10, Marine Faithful. Um, so this, this episode was quite interesting, uh, you know, a, a bit more action because the last few episodes have been kind of boring getting into the whole politics of this show and it's kind of putting me to sleep, uh, but this having a bit more action and, and drama and stuff, it was kind of really kind of interesting getting me sucked into this, uh, this show. So we, we have this show in this, uh, uh, I mean, this show, like, it's quite interesting. I'd like to see them turn up a little bit more of, like, the Batman and comic bookness of this show. But at the same time, I understand the, sh the, char the, the writers and the directors and all that stuff were working on, um, I think it's the same creators and writers that did uh, Gotham. So uh, and they probably want to try something different. And they could do something completely different. And it doesn't need to be full on, you know superheroes and all that stuff uh but i think i'd like to see a bit more james bond as to why he becomes one of the best uh tools in batman's utility belt is alfred right so i think that's really what i'd like to see um building up more about that and how he becomes the ultimate sidekick for batman right um so we see uh that the queen uh the queen is forced into kind of appointing lord hardwood in this episode uh we see alfred finds a way to get out of the country but he stopped at the docks Alfred goes to Thomas Wayne to get out the country. Uh, that's when they decide to, to go, you know, save the queen, right? And then, so they all go save the queen together. Alfred's father um, holds a raven or is the leader of a raven's gathering type thing. So that was quite interesting. Alfred saves the queen. The queen and Alfred sleep together because of it. Um, so that'd be interesting to see where things go with that, with that storyline. Um, if they stay together type thing, that could be quite interesting. Maybe that would be something interesting to kind of let, later on tie that into somehow giving uh, him uh, access to maybe he becomes you know one of her right hand mans type thing uh, and he becomes starts to do like you know he sends her on missions and stuff like that that nobody else wants to do making him the ultimate James Bond and then that could be an interesting more storyline to go into uh, like season two or if we had other seasons um, as to recording this video we still don't have any confirmation or the cancellation or anything like that for this show so it's still I still have to wait and see as to where things are going to go with this um, but I think the idea of him and the queen kind of sleeping together a little bit, but her, him also being the, the queen's ultimate kind of the one she trusts the most, right? The only person she can really 100% trust. And maybe she says, oh, this guy needs to go, you know, need you to do this, need you to do that, or to, and he can go do things type thing like that, um, being the ultimate James Bond directly from the queen type thing. And I think that could be something quite interesting as uh, to play with uh, their relationship. We see Alfred's father plans to blow up the government, and he straight up does blow up the government. And Alfred just shows up and shoots his father, doesn't stop him from blowing up the place. And he looks like Alfred saves the queen. Um, it's unclear as to how Alfred walks out, and the queen, you know, is knocked out type thing. Um, although, yes, yeah, she could have passed out or something. But uh, it was just a huge, it was just kind of a big explosion for him to walk out of. Um, and I'm just kind of just, I don't understand how that. Just a small, you know, maybe the cake was at most 12 inches by 6 inches. Or let's say it was a, a square cake out of, you know, 12 inches by 12 inches, which it wasn't. But let's say it was. It doesn't seem like enough C4 to blow up this entire building, this huge building. Um, which I imagine this, that, that huge, uh, like, the queen, the queen, the queen mentioned the, the queen's uh, how, the palace type thing. It just kind of seems a bit silly that it was such a big explosion unless we find out that there was other charges that he had played he had laced around the, the he had placed around the, the building that could possibly have happened uh i could see that happening obviously he's the butler right he gets access to all over the house um so i think that could be what could have been something interesting to see uh so we'll have to wait and see where things go in the next uh, when we pick this up if we get a season two but i think the idea is this thing is where things kind of go with this and the relationship now between his father his mother and um, it will be quite interesting to see as to how things go um, and how things are going to get portrayed and how things are going to affect Alfred. You know, is he going to stay on? I can see, uh, you know, the relationship between Alfred and, and the Queen getting even stronger because, you know, he was willing to shoot his own father uh, just to save the government type thing. So I think that was quite interesting to, as to playing with that. Um, and I definitely can't wait to see as to more, where things go. But like I said, I'd like to see more James Bond, uh, more James Bond in, the, in this show rather than, you know, politics and stuff. Because if I wanted to watch The Crown, I'd be watching The Crown on Netflix, you know. Uh, I really just kind of not uh, in, inter interested in watching all this politics stuff just kind of gets boring and um frankly you know not enough action they just kind of start falling asleep while watching the show so um yeah so this last episode was really interesting i liked there was a lot of stuff but obviously any shows there's gonna be a lot of things like that in a, in a 
uh, last episode of the season. So we'll have to wait and see as to where we kind of go with the show. But like I said, I think this is a bit more um, James Bond spy craft as to showing us to why he's the best tool uh, or the best sidekick or the best mentor for Batman type thing as to building up those things. He goes, oh yeah, that'll be useful for this in Batman. You know, that'll be useful for that in Batman. You know, uh, touching upon things and alluding to things as Batman could be something quite th- fun to, to deal with. We also saw that Thomas Wayne got shot um, when he was about to hook up with Martha um, and it looked like he was dead. Um, and then she kind of does CPR on him and he wakes up a little bit. Um, so that was interesting. Uh, they obviously have to keep him alive. Uh, but he also got shot in the shoulder. So I was like, when he got shot in the, other, in the opposite shoulder of his heart, I was like, okay, he's probably going to survive it. Um, you know, I think that would be kind of silly if he didn't. Uh, but I think they have been the relationship between Thomas and Martha. I think the gliders are getting together at this point. Um, to see as to where they kind of go, it seems to me that they're putting them together so that they could, uh, so that if they don't get a season two, if this is it, you know, they can say, well, they're already together, right? It's already kind of, so the, the storylines are kind of open to continuation, but they're kind of also somewhat wrapped up, at least the big parts of Martha Wayne, Martha Kane and, and uh, Thomas Wayne. Um, being together type thing so that could be something interesting to play with and like I said I'd like to see a bit more kind of I'd like to see some slight teases in the future seasons of uh, you know Thomas Wayne potentially becoming uh, you know the Earth 2 Batman where he's a uh, Flashpoint Batman type thing uh, and maybe even Martha Wayne Martha Kane being uh, you know possibly being Joker just kind of seeing that seeing teases in their personality that oh if something went completely wrong they could, be, could completely lose it. She could completely lose it and become the Joker, and he could completely lose it and become, uh, you know, Batman type thing. If you know Bruce Wayne would ever to get killed, I don't think I ever want to go and see that storyline in this show. Um, I mean, it would be something interesting to kind of turn that this show into that if that ever happened uh, in future seasons. But I, I don't think I'd like to see. I'd like to stick in this and play. You know, not get to the Bruce Wayne, uh, Bruce, you know, Bruce Wayne being born until like. Maybe season ten if this makes it that long. So uh, I'd like to see, but the possibilities of teasing those those personalities could be quite fun. So let me know what you think, guys, about this com- this show in the comments below. Uh, what would you like to see out of the s- season two? Um, which type of characters would you like to see? Would you like to see more characters from the comics? Because uh, right now I feel like it's just kind of you got three characters that are named after the characters from the comics, and that's about it. They're just using the DC label to sell the show. So I think you got to have to be more than just you know three labels from the dc uh dc canon so they need to go a bit deeper so let me know what you think guys about this in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out hi this is kevin conroy talking to you from the library of wayne manor you may know me as batman i just want you to know that you're watching kyle reviewed like share comment and subscribe I am vengeance, I am the knight, I am Batman!